methods or types of solvent extraction there are three types of solvent extraction batch extraction continuous extraction and counter current extraction first method is batch extraction this method is used for larger distribution coefficient values the apparatus used for solvent extraction is separating funnel usually solute is extracted from an aqueous solution into an immiscible organic solvent the aqueous solution containing the solute is shaken with the immiscible organic solvent so these are two solvent it has uh, water that is usually uh, containing the solute and it is shaken with the low density organic solvent for a minute and phases are allowed to separate the denser solvent occupies the bottom layer and it is withdrawn by opening the stop cock so the denser layer is removed from the separating funnel and the low density liquid it is remain in the separating funnel after that it is also removed and the solvent is uh, volatile and it is passed through the distillation in order to get the solute second type is continuous extraction when the organic compound to be extracted has nearly the same solubility in water as well as in organic solvent which mean that distribution coefficient kd value between the organic and aqueous phase is very small so we use the large quantity of the organic solvent or we can use the multiple extraction in order to get the good extraction efficiency but this will create a number of complication and it is also a tedious job so this can be avoided by the continuous extraction using the apparatus known as continuous extractor where only small volume of the solvent is required so the organic substance can be extracted from the aqueous solution with a solvent which is heavier than water or which is lighter than water so in this case we will study the two cases that is the organic solvent is heavier than water or the organic solvent is lighter than water the case one is when the extracting solvent that is organic solvent is heavier than water the organic substance in aqueous phase is placed in the extraction vessel fitted with reflex condenser so this one is the extraction vessel it is fitted with reflex condenser the aqueous solution that containing the organic phase it is placed in this extraction vessel the other solvent that is immiscible with aqueous phase is also placed in the extraction vessel as it is heavier than aqueous phase so it will move downward the level of the this uh, immiscible phase or we can say this heavier solvent will be adjusted to the overflow tube or the solvent return tube a portion of the extraction is placed in a heating reservoir so when it is heated the vapors are formed the vapor are passed to the extraction vessel which go to the condenser and will be condensed into the liquid state the liquid drops are passed downward through aqueous phase containing the organic solute and in doing so they will carry certain amount of solute with themselves this causes the organic solvent to overflow and the organic solvent from the extraction vessel will move to move from the solvent return tube into the solvent reservoir as this process continues the organic solute concentration in aqueous phase it is decrease and the organic solute in this solvent reservoir is increased the organic solute is, is thus continuously extracted that's why this term continuous extraction is used for this method so the organic solute is thus continuously extracted by the organic solvent and accumulates in the reservoir second case is when the extracting solvent that is organic solvent is lighter than water 
the organic septum in aqueous phase is placed in extraction vessel fitted with reflex condenser so it is extraction vessel it has reflex condenser the aqueous phase containing the organic solute is placed in it the other solvent that at as an extracting solvent or we can say that is a organic solvent that is immiscible with the aqueous phase is also placed in it a portion of this organic solvent or extracting solvent is placed in a heating reservoir when it is heated it will vaporize it will form vapors and these vapors will move towards the extracting vessel which go upward and it will move towards the condenser over there it will condense into the liquid state the liquid drops are passed downward with the help of bubbler funnel but but as it is lighter than water so it will move upward again but in doing so it will carry some of this organic solute from the aqueous phase along with itself so the level of the organic phase that is the lighter solvent it will rises up and the solvent from the organic phase will move towards the solvent reservoir as the process continues the organic solute concentration in aqueous phase is gradually depleted as it concentrate in the reservoir so here it has organic solute and it is continuously decreased because it is moving towards the reservoir carrying by the liquid droplets the organic solute is thus continuously extracted by the organic solvent and accumulates in the reservoir third type is counter current extraction this method was developed by craig and accordingly an extractor used for this purpose is called craig counter current extractor that is shown in figure it consists of as many as 300 to 400 separating chambers as connected in the form of a drain so it has as many as 300 up to 400 chambers and these are connected in the form of a drain the extractant and the solution containing the solute are introduced from a into b so both are introduced here and it will move towards b it is shaken and the equilibrium will be formed in this b after that it is tilted and the upper layer which which will be there it will move towards d by c when it is again make vertical the liquid from the d will move toward the e and it will be collected in the other chamber just like in b the lighter phase thus gradually travels through the train of separating chambers components of given sample travel at different rate depending upon their distribution ratio and then collected each in a separate group of chambers